<laughs> oh, it's the monks, which means I'm on Monk Isle. Cool. Cannot speak. Welcome on Carl Slagner. Oh, feel free to visit around the library. What's that here? Aid. Must be cautious. And with the balance. Blah, blah, blah. You can't tell me anything new. Bye. Let me get him. Monk. Carnax. Time grows short. So there as I can. You're not telling me anything new that they don't tell me when I turn up. I'm a humble monk, but you have no help to thee in any way, I fear. Name. I know I'm believing names. Does Confield have a name? Can I say a cry of the corn? This monk is a mystical man indeed. Corn is at the centre of the kingdom of vegetables. Corn is tall green, king of the grasses, its fruit is sweet when roasted. Seek to find the corn of the corn. I am the child of the corn, as I said, my lord. Unseen energies which permeate the worlds. A monk within the order of Zenka seeks to tune himself with these ethereal vapors. In my own case, I being but the least of these, my brethren, draw upon the power of the void to foster the growth of plants. Zenka was creative of them all. He was used to master the energy of the void until at last she was no longer of this world. Zenka is our exemplar. We all harness the power she did. I'm unable to speak further. I am capable of expressing all that Zenka is and was. I should speak to Monk Daxter, who has desired to perceive the mystery of Zenka. Mandrake root. Now, not the first come with silent search for mandrakes. The plant is a source of powerful magic. There's a supply of roots in my hut. If there needs any, please take all that need this for mandrake grow only in the swamps and they seem to be rare elsewhere. Mandrakes grow only in certain swamps, which is why it's on this isle. Due to the danger of the magical storms, the ships no longer come. Only thou, the stranger from another world, can visit us now. Therefore, no one can take mandrake roots to the major moonshade. Certainly, to be a grave shortage of reagents in that city soon. Mandrakes are only found in the swamplands and only when salt tides are right. I've only dried roots in my supply. If there's desire fresh roots, you must go to the swamp when the tides are right. Mandrake roots only appear when the tides are right, otherwise they lay beneath the mud and cannot be seen. Now is not the time, but the tides will be in precisely when I cannot predict. I could tell you when the tides were right if they'll sass later. Oh, fuck off. Tell me about the tides now. Salt tides. Now is not the time here. Here we, we meet again. Our destiny draws quickly. How may I be of service? Welcome to Munkal. May I tarry with us for as long as I was wished, but remember the sands of time away for no one, not even thee. What's that here? That will learn that life of the monk is governed by bells. Not all of our membership may speak to thee. Novice are bound to a vow of silence, help thee better contemplate the mysteries. Within the hourglass of fate lie the sands of time. As each grain doth fall, so doth the moment hasten us to our doom. Let us fail thy quest, our world will end, ripped apart by earthquakes, and that will soon plague it. They toll, though no one rings them. They said that when all the bells toll, it will signal Zenka's return. Until then, the signal they order for our daily life, from chapel to field, from field to library, and so on. Over the years, we've gathered many books and scrolls that we ought to give light to the meaning of light within Zenka's prophecies. Only recently, hath Migimum taken the task of trying to set the library to rights. Is he that helps the visitors come seeking information? He's come to us for everything from healing arts to weather prediction. Of course, that's before the storms began. Oh, visitors, yeah, go now. Such visits are rare. The journey here is not the easy one. As I remember, our last visit was that woman, Gwenu. She stayed with us for a short period of time. I think that she was seeking information concerning the ice people of the north. But I should speak with Migim. Gwenu spent most of her time within the library. Know a little about the ice people. Know that they are not like me and thee, but covered in thick hide. Like that of a bear, only white. I fear that I do not know all we possess. They are free to look, of course, but if there are specific questions, direct them to Migim. Be old, since we are so secluded from the rest of the, li the land, we grow our own food. And as food concerns us all, we all share the task of tending the garden and orchard. <laughs> now, welcome to take what is needed from our fields. We're glad to share the bounty of the land that they're trying to save. Chapel's where we go to meditate. It's also where the monks gather to perform resurrections. The Book of Zenka prophecies rest in the altar for all to see. Zenka disappeared several centuries ago. No one goes to know where she went. However, in a writing Zenka, the promise to return when the end is near. Again, once more, Mithith. 
Zenka's prophecy is very clear, my son, lacking Zenka's heavenly insights. Must struggle to wrest the meaning from each passage, so to develop their so to develop their entire lives to find the meaning of only a handful of passages. Bye. You. You won't talk to me. Should read this shall we book of prophecies when the stranger sojourns with thee in thy land thou shalt do him or her no wrong the stranger who sojourns with thee shall be to thee as thou name among ye thou shalt love him or her as thyself as see the advent of hero from another world the woods unite the serpents and save the world i see the rocks in motion and the trees bursting up and i see treasures which have lain hidden for centuries coming forth I see one which i see one which is of three it is black it is magic Clearly I do see a hero from another world, but let it be said that he's not alone. He must not advance as one alone. I pray thee above all things to have this remembrance. He must be accompanied by the three. A hero from another world succeed through the use of powerful magic and aid of spectres and the implements three of the Hierophant. My words shed light upon darkness, follow the unfolding of my words that will see that the, fiend, the friends of the hero shall be his enemies. Visions shall make him wiser than his enemies, and thus it is always with him. The hero from another world must triumph even in his dreams. Dead shall aid him, but enemies among the living shall be bound. A careful choice of ally is necessary to ensure success. The hero from another world will even need a thief and a braggart as his ally. Ally? Ally. I see his future as a veil. He should be ally allied with once his enemies and should find good men in bad company. I see the colour red and a woman is involved. Okay. Save this here. Monkile. Fave. Okay. These are the monks that are like. Are we sure that sound came back on? Because there's not even bird sound. Yeah, it's there. Ah, there we go, there's she side sounds. <laughs> yeah, but can't speak over the fence. Tremble for the hero from another world, thou even as Zenka said. Who the fuck are you? Name. My name is insignificant. A great one, I am but shadow of the destiny of glory of Zenka, another mystic. But if thou wilt suffer to call me by name, I am Draxter. Ah, there we go. Zenka saw that one hope for our world was that a hero from another world would sail a ship upon dry land. Fox had told us that thy ship was found beyond the shore, now accompanied by three fine companions, as foretold. Zenka was a very wise woman, O oh, great one. Divine visions came to her to warn us at the end of the world. She foresaw thy coming in the place of visions, though she never told us she foresaw leaving us. The place of visions is upon the very northwestern edge of the fields, thou great one. I will know it by the benches placed for a great wall. I recall the last night we ever saw Zenka. I was there for her last three visions. Would I like to show thee a vision? Yes. Turn to the place of visions and I shall meet thee there. From the first vision, Zenka said, The hero from another world must triumph even in his dreams and tell that I shall succeed the very voice of the universe sings as we move through it after the second vision Zenka said the hero from another world must cast aside a prejudice and follow those of the fellowship into the truth of beauty what? following the third vision Zenka said the hero from another world shall need a thief and a bragger as his ally Al ally I've said it again needs a thief and a bragger down a back alley say ally i find that hard to believe leaving 
This dreadful blow, a great one, when we could not find her in the place we searched, believed that some great event, some great crisis will bring forth the prophetess and her psychic wisdom save the floundering world. Thou hast already survived the strange storms that lash our land. Was thou not agreed that we are floundering beneath fierce beatings? As we find content in companions, it is written that the hero from another world must have the three to fill his quest. Fox is another follower of the wonder Zenka, though she would not be content to sit and wait for thine arrival. She would seek to be thy friend and take thee the, hour, take thee the hourglass of fate. I hope that is not that she turns against thee. Why would she? The sands within the glass are the life's blood of our land. Each grain falls closer and closer to his doom if thus fail thy quest. Thanks to the destinies of every man, woman, and child, they are written in a blessed book. I cannot tell thee thy destiny, for I am sworn not to interfere, but thou mayst look within Zenka's wisdom thine own accord, as any may. It is written that the friends of the hero from another world shall become his enemies. I shall not seek to befriend thee, as I have no wish to bring about the end of the world. Zenka's vision is one of the world's of the world's end or great one it was written that the hero from another world that failed the world shall shudder unto death the book of the divine wisdom certainly is where Zenka inscribed all her visions such wisdom might aid thee in thy quest let us find the book in the old women chapel I've already read it chapel is where we meditate, it's the central chamber of the abbey it's where we gather and ponder the mysteries of Zenka's prophecies but for the ankh the ancient symbol of life, it's only fitting that Zenka's rest, words rest before the symbol of all her divinity inspired words Shall save. Oh, oh God, ten path finding off. Where the hell was it? There. No. Can't talk to any of these. Time of visions. Welcome again, hero from another world. Destiny has been brought these positive vision. Vision. Silence, peace. Which now listen to the song of the void, which just was the end of both past and present. Whoa. The fuck was that? Vision. Ah. Goes too quickly. Okay, that looked like Petra. Why is it so... S oh, hang on. Let's drop that to two frames per second. Vision. There we go. Oh, that's me. In the background. And Petra. And everything on fire. That's not ideal, is it? Bye. 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 Is anybody else? Bye. You. You're running away. You must know something. You're guilty. You're guilty or you wouldn't be running. Swamp. Oh, see if I can find Mandrake. Depends on the salt tides, doesn't it? Mm, the building in there. I need two pairs of swamp boots. for that. What was that and who just used it?
another magic axe. You've got nothing, so you can wear that. Get the wand on there. Sword of defense on there. You can have magic axe. You can have a god awful hat. I need the keys. Another wand. Is that a key? No. Whoosh. Only 13, but we'll build them up over time. Too heavy. Ugh. If all the gold you're carrying. God, how much this bloody chain weigh? you've got some armor on I'm gonna just keel over noise yeah. speaking of keeling over Dupre's not looking too healthy is he Yes. I was shamming her, not bloody Dupre. God. I'm always getting mixed up on the bloody thing that name I can't remember. Hot bar, long bottom. Let's try again. Seven gate. Is it the star? Ah, right, that's the same serpent gate that I came in on. Oh, it's Shamano using burst arrows, that's what that effect is. Are still not right. Stars are not aligned. So, oh God, what they all look to now? He's deaf. Humble monk, mandrake root, tides. Now is not the time. Good to buy. He cannot speak. Let's 
Carnax, Monk, McGim, Monk. The fact that you're sloping off suggests these bells salt tides but the tides will soon be in bye right let's try to go to sleep what the fuck's that oh lens are translating here from another world must encounter again what you thought eradicated the cause is good this time See the hero from another land in the frozen lands of the north. The hero seeks a wife of his older companion. A wall of ice has prevented the hero from reaching the woman. The hero lifts a horn, the horn of the Guani, to his lips and blows. The sound of the, ice horn, uh, the horn is deafening. The wall of ice is shattered. Through darkness and despair, the land was bare, looking for the mundane and last but in vain my soul and my heart pierced by cupid's dart will never heal without mundane's will love is desolate land unless thou mundane takes me by the hand to the youth fountain mine axe how the hell have they got that thinker's vision scattered verses part four here from another world and meet the sense of the silver captain under the sign of the bull here from another world betrayed by follower of the other Under it root. I learned of my safe return to the surface. My arrogant curiosity was also my undoing. The ruined or fitting structure in the caverns below the swamp is very dangerous. My companions fell to the blows of the undead. No monk should ever return there. I've taken the key that opens the gate to the area and hidden it in the hollow tree near the southern portion of the swamp. The ruin. But the note shall ever find that key. And why leave a fucking note? Madness, 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 madness is all I can see. The world is turned inside out. The stars shine blood red. Men are beasts, beasts are men. Ashes, ashes. The end is upon us. All snakes leering in the void. Dancing, dance of death. Vision of the land without sight. That was... Zenka's prophecy, shattered verses, part two. I see the hero from another world, right? Ringing the bells. I'm not there. I'm dead. Ring the bells. Oh, joy. Sweet music. The bells make come dream. I hear the bells and I awake. I see the frozen waste. Hero from another world is there. I see the men who are not men covered in fur. I see the hero from another world strike. No, the world is collapsing. I cannot breathe. Memoirs. In the middle of the stormy night, deafening roar of the thunder tore apart the heavens and woke us. It was before by five rapid and resounding knocks on the main door. I rose out of bed, donned my sandals, and walked through the double doors. A desperate hand was pounding on the wooden frame. Most likely some belated travellers had been caught in the storm. I thought. So half open the door, swift streak of lightning pierced dramatically across the loud clouds, illuminating the darkness. Through the slashing rain appeared the figure of a bedraggled man, bedraggled yet with a certain stab and ability on his brow. Yet I did not recognise him. Yeah. He rushed in looking for the hearth. Several of my brethren helped him with dry clothes and hot beverage. He said his name was Blackthorn, and that he had come a long way to seek refuge in our monastery. He thanked us sincerely, then asked for hospitality, which we granted him. He said that he was in exile from a land called Britannia, and that since his departure he had been roaming the seas in search of a haven. He stayed with us at the monastery for some time. We taught him from the writings of Zenka, whence he learned that birth, ranks, titles, power and gold are meaningless. From this world we are thoroughfare, we are all brought in this world equal and rights, and we depart from it carrying nothing at all of our deeds, good and ill. Shit! So, Blackthorn, from Ultima 5, ended up on the Serpent Isle when Lord British banished him. Does that mean he's one of the monks? Pilgrims, this great journey to the three temples of order do not live, so uh, seek the fact you have read that. Things unsavoury may often be necessary. All causes are not what they seem. What appears evil often can be good and never discount. Okay. Well, fucking hell. Is that Carnax? 
Somebody must be able to tell me about. He can't speak. Bye. Can nobody tell you about Blackthorn? sleep shit wrong one it's you salt ties are in convergence if there's our mandate roots they must hasten to the swamplands like it 